Hello there, welcome to Droid City. And in this video, we are going to learn about how we can integrate Rasa Chatbot with WordPress website. So let's get started and let's learn about what are the requirements for integrating with WordPress website. So first of all, I would recommend you to have a WordPress website somewhere hosted or on a local machine. So if you are running this on your local machine, then I will recommend you to have a uh, exam server or uh, apache server which can help you to run wordpress websites so here i am currently have hosted this on triple zero web host app this provides a free trial and also a free version of it so you can definitely use this apart from that before we move ahead with with this integration i would recommend you you have some kind of rasa assistant even if you don't have it i would recommend you you can download by going on uh, github repository of mine which is customer care chatbot here you can find n number of uh, files so uh, not to worry about it i have added the instruction regarding the installation part everything you need to just set up and uh, to run this bot you have to run uh, either this or either this so we'll go to that particular section soon so if you if you don't have any kind of assistant right now you can definitely download this rasa assistant which i have built from the github repository you can find this link in the description so now let's get back here with the website so the steps are quite easy and you don't have to worry about how this will work out or how it won't you can definitely use the comment section or the Droid Cities Discord server for this particular purpose. I will try to answer as soon as possible. So let's get back here and inside this dashboard, you will land on this particular page after you have logged in and set up each and everything. If you need help with the login part or setting up this WordPress on a local machine or somewhere, there are n number of tutorials on YouTube or on Google. So you can find it and you can definitely use that. So right here in this section, you can find this install plugins. It, uh, you might not be able to see uh, my because of my head. I'll try to zoom out a bit or you can see this. So yeah, right here you can see this install plugins. So in, click on it, install plugins. You might find it or you might not find, it, find this particular plugin in your plugin section, which is WP code light. So right here let me adjust my head so you guys can see it just a minute so right here wp code light is the plugin which we'll be using if you don't know how how you can install a plugin so it's quite simple you just have to click on add new and the, while you click on this add new you will find this search bar right here so in this you can type wp code click on enter and you will find it right on your left hand side this particular plugin and instead of this active active or activate you'll find this kind of button which is saying install now and once you click on install now it will install this particular plugin and once it is installed there will be a button which will be a bluish and saying as activate you just click on activate and it will be it will be activated and now let's get back there in the install plugin section and there we will go in the code snippet section so right here in the code snippets we will click on add new you will find two plugins you can definitely delete them if you don't want to use them so right here we'll click on add new once you click on add new you will get this lot of options right here so we don't want to use those options because this is a custom code snippet which we are going to use so I'll suggest you to click on add your custom code new snippet. Click on this blue button, use snippet. Once you click on this, you will get this kind of page where there is this save snippet inactive and this code preview part where you will be adding the code. Also, not forget to add this title or else it will just uh, randomly name it as untitled snippet. So right here we'll see it as Rasa chatbot. And once this is done, we want to add the script. So how we're going to add a script. Do you remember I 
added a tutorial about the web website integration using the bot friends uh, web chat we are going to use the same right here if you have any kind of web chat for yourself you can definitely use those just make sure you know how to use it here so i'll show it to you how you can use the bot friends web chat let's get going so right here i'll go on bot friends rasa web chat repository the link you can find in the description i'll i have added all kinds of resources which are useful for this video so uh, right here let's go and scroll down here you will find this script so we don't want the script tag because uh, this is already a script but as you can see here it will be html script so we'll change it later so first i'll copy this particular section this whole section right here from this exclamation till the semicolon so i'll copy this control c and paste it here as a control v so now what have we have to do there are n number of warnings and errors because it is not able to understand it so simply go right here oh, my webcam is there so and once you get go there just click on javascript so right here it changed it to javascript and now it is able to understand it once this is done you have to provide a url to it so for providing a url you should have your rasa server running somewhere and if you are running on uh, running this wordpress on your local machine then there is no issue you can definitely add the local host like this as http colon slash slash localhost 5005 like this but if you are running it on a particular hosted platform hosting platform then i would recommend you to provide an ngrock url or you deploy your uh, rasa server somewhere so uh, i won't be deploying it but i guess you might have already known what you are going to do so now we will start our ngrock server and the rasa server simultaneously so let's go there uh, let me find yeah here it is so just make sure before you start the rasa server you have this configuration in the credentials.yml this particular file is really important for starting the socket io connection so right here this is done now i'll start the rasa server by activating my conda environment so for that i have to activate this okay no. the make sure you name the environment name correct or else it will fail so now i'll just run the rasa server by this command you can find this command in the repository which i shared with you and just make sure to add a debug flag and if you want to run this particular rasa server on another port you can just directly add this dash p and the port number whichever you want like let's say 80 so i won't be running it on 80 i'll be running it on 5005 and since this is starting i'll go to command prompt and right here ngrok http 5005 just make sure you're using the ngrok version this i had faced difficulties with the latest version of ngrok which is i'm not able to call this particular url i don't know why but it happens i'm not sure why it uh, happens so just make sure you yes, you know about this issue so i'll copy this and go to my web chat i'll paste it right here so now this is done click on active and then save snippet it will take some time it will be loading like this just make sure to hang on and wait for it so once this is done you will see this update and this is active and if you go uh, go back like let's say the code snippet section you will find this particular snippet present right here so there are options and there is this option also if you want to keep it active or not so now let's go back and see okay so this rasa server is running very smooth and now let me move my head to 
the left hand side so right here if i refresh this this is the site currently i'm having and we will also check what issue we are currently facing in the console okay we are not facing any kind of issue it just took some time to load so right here you can see as usual i have tested this previously so you will find few chats right here so i'll say hi it'll say hey none you don't have to worry about this none because this is a slot which is getting set i'll teach you in the further video how to do that how to set this slot okay just don't worry about it now it says how are you i'll say sad because we want to check if it is able to show us the image or not so it is able to show us the image and i'll say yes it helped me so it will say great kid and this is simple mode but i guess you guys know very well about this this is not the customer care assistant which we built before with the forms yeah but in the further tutorials i honestly i would like to say we'll be building so many things just <laughs> there is some inconsistency in my video so i'm really sorry about it but this will happen usually so uh, there's there won't be any consistency but there will be inconsistency so just hang on for those things so now in this video we learn about the integration with the the wordpress website of rasa chatbot just few things i would like to share with you about this integration is that uh, i have faced few difficulties before and what are those let me tell you so you are aware of it and uh, while when you integrate with your wordpress website you take care of these things so uh, on a hosted server of a wordpress where you you're having a ssl certificate which is very good ssl certificate so if you add this particular script and if you add this rasa chatbot integration just the way i showed you you will face some kind of difficulties because uh, let's say you use this https from ngrok i don't know how it will work but there might be few issues you might face because you don't have ssl certificate first of all for running the uh, for the server where your rasa chatbot is running so you will first need that and once you have it it should be a valid one and you should know how to set up it so let's consider you you are running your uh, rasa server on somewhere on g cloud so you should know how you can uh, con configure the ssl certificate using nginx or apache whichever way you would like to use you can definitely find it on google and use it if you need any kind of tutorial i'll try to help you as much as i can so we'll have have those kind of features afterwards in our video and once that is done just make sure the ssl certificate is valid and working correctly also you can definitely do trial and error methods for this because what happens is uh, your wordpress website won't be able to call your http server so if you are running on aws or google cloud you will get an external ip address correct so that particular ip address won't be called because the ssl certificate the the browser itself will not allow you i am not sure uh, why probably it's for security reasons so if you even if you go to a particular website which is as ip address and it is http or https but it is not secured then definitely you will get a red banner or a red warning saying that something is invalid or error there is common name invalid or something like that so this is just a heads up for you that you take care of this kind of issue which i have faced and uh, you will find some kind of solution if you find it definitely share in the discord server i'll pin you or on comment section this will really help the community out so thank you so much about it so let's get back and summarize what we did so first of all we we should have a, some kind of uh rasa chatbot any kind which you can run and you can use it here with the web chat also so you should have your wordpress site running somewhere hosted or on a local machine once it is done you go in the uh, in the plugin section you add wp code snippet and once that is done you 
create a code snippet which looks like this and that's it you add your code snippet right here and your rasa web chat is running in this website so thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video bye